why Fortnite Season 5 is the best season in a long time. So Chapter 2 Season 5 released a couple days ago. I've been playing it and it really doesn't feel all that bad. What changes made it my favorite season ever since Chapter 2? Well, the first and most obvious one is the new map. Well, it's still a Chapter 2 map, but I really like the OG vibes. Salty Towers makes Tilted feel new again, like it was meant for 2020. I say it's one of the best versions of Tilted, better than Neo Tilted and Tilted Town. But even though it isn't an exact replica of the one from seasons 3 and 4, it certainly gives me the OG vibes again. The other location is the Zero Point Zone. Now what's so good about this area? Well, it makes me feel like Dusty Divot. They actually have a dusty depot on the map again too, which is always a good thing. The rocks in the zero point are similar to the ones in Dusty Divot that makes you jump faster, but now it makes you jump faster when you double jump. Other new locations are Colossal Coliseum and Hunter's Heaven, which I really don't care about because I'm used to the new locations they add every season. Plus, they just remove it the next season, so I just don't really like it. Just like the Agency and Risky Reels, which got removed like a season or two later. The next big thing is the Wad Currency. Now, I thought this was a type of building material that's weaker than wood at first, but after some digging, you can get Wad from stashes and saves, and you can actually spend it on vendors or NPCs which actually give you items like guns. It's kind of like how the venging machine works, but with a whole different material. I think they probably got this idea from Warzone because they had the money thing since launch, and the buying machines in Warzone are similar. I'm hoping that the WAD currency will see changes in the future that will allow it to get other things like buying out teammates, just like in Warzone. Although that would be like copying Warzone, it's a good start for something that you can change as the game moves forward. The loot pool has changed just like every season, but this season isn't all that different. There's a list of things that have been rotted. Some big names stand out like the pump and the scar. I'm just so used to Fortnite adding and removing things that I just don't care about anymore. They did add the tack and balloon spec though. The loot pool is definitely the only part of the season I just don't like. I don't know why they keep on doing this, although they do say that the community likes these changes and it will keep us from getting bored, but why change the meta every season when players have to adjust every time? There are some good new items that they added though, like the Dragon Breath Shotgun. The shotgun fires 4 rounds at one time, which is actually pretty sick. I haven't seen that before and it also does splash damage so it can hit more than one person. The Ambient Rifle is also a new thing that can be found by beating the Mandalorian. It has a whole new look to it and it has a thermal scope. The Jetpack can also be obtained by beating the Mandalorian and I really like this too because it gives me Season 4 vibes when the Jetpack was released. I'm saying the original Jetpack. The Return of Launchpads is also a huge change for the better because of how useful they were. Now let's talk about the skins and the storyline. As many people saw in the live event, Zero Point is the new theme of this season I guess. Now why do I think this is a good thing for Epic? Well unlike last season and the season before that where things were mostly focused on Avengers, we finally have the Fortnite storyline back. Remember when Fortnite used to create their own storyline like Ice King vs The Prisoner or the Rocket Launch? and Rift event in Season 4? Well, I think they're bringing it back kind of. I hope this goes somewhere and the live event leading up to this was great also. The battle pass is what I would say pretty average, nothing new. The only good skins I like are the anime girl and of course the Mandalorian with Baby Yoda. Mystery rewards are also cool and all too. Most of the points in this video I said I liked because it kind of brought me back to the OG days. It's one of the reasons I liked this so much. Even though they added a ton of good things, I think most of the player base would appreciate that they brought back a lot of the OG items and locations. I think the best season in Chapter 2 is Season 5 because of the changes. Overall, it's heading into a better direction with its items and gameplay and the addition of the wild currency will allow it to do that. I don't think it will reverse the decisions of players who quit the game a year ago but they certainly are in a better place 
than in Chapter 2 Season 1. So yeah, Season 5 is the best season in Fortnite in a long time in my opinion. What do you think about this topic? If you want to learn more about gaming, or you just want to know more about games, subscribe. I post videos weekly, and you'll be missing out on a ton of things you might want to know about gaming. Thanks for watching, and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.